Hey there everybody, MST3K Forever here, and uh, we're gonna continue our let's play of Sherlock Holmes The Awakened. Um, just a little note here while, we're lo while, while we are loading. I uh, went back, readjusted my sound levels again, did a little bit of testing with one of the previous saves, and uh, we should... Hmm? Is this what I was supposed to want to load here? the heck? Um... Wait a minute. Now wait a minute! Wait a minute! What? Oh, you gotta be kidding me! I have to go back and do- Oh, frack! I saved wrong! Ugh. Uh... Hmm, sorry about this, guys. Um... Good news is, though, I did go back and readjust my sound levels. Speed through this. Uh, click, 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 click. Have you found anything? No, I haven't. Ruffles. Hi, Ruffles. Talking Ruffles. Clicking through What's this. Continuous. Um, I went back and readjusted my sound levels to back where they were. It's uh, main volume, notch. Flaxen, yellow in color. Uh, so, no, not, not notch. Uh, main joy. volume is to be at a. Ah, just a mic there. Main volume is at a. Ah. Um, actually, I'm just gonna speed through this, guys. You won't have to watch this. Main volume, I have it set now. It's main volume, notch 2, and, uh, wave volume, two clicks up on the mouse wheel. I've, I've got, I've got a picture of it saved on the screen save, so I know exactly how it's supposed to look. Uh, there shouldn't be any more problems with the sound. Uh, I'll be right back. Okay, uh, back to the job at hand. Save. Yes. See, I thought we saved there before. In fact, I could have sworn we saved there before. Oh, yeah. Um, okay. Good day, Mr. Holmes. The thing I've also noticed now is that uh, when I have fraps on to record this, it also tends to lag a little bit. Let's go. It's the game's afoot! How hard is that to say? It's your big line! All right, here we go. Why did we come here, Holmes? Because we're here after the kidnapper. Brr, it's rather sinister here, and so cold. Oh, this Precisely looks foggy. Watson. Ah, good. Here's a pub. We can warm ourselves inside. Hmm. Excellent, Holmes. <laughs> Excellent, Holmes. We found a pub by a creepy dead tree, and I don't know how we got over here. Well, no sense going inside first off. Let's, uh, look around a bit first. Okay, South 13. Now, this is starting to look more like a Cthulhu game. Okay. Um. I see a ship. And a dead boat. Several dead boats. Whoa. What do you make of this, Holmes? Um, I think you should get out of my way, Watson. Watson, seriously, move. Okay. Oh, hey, it moves! Cool! Sailing ship. Out of the way. Watson, do you have to be in the middle of everything? Seriously. Yeah, there's... I think there's, like, yeah, if you can look over the corner there, there's trees and something else over there. <laughs> this is really cool. I like this. Alright, wandering around here. Uh, okay, so cool atmosphere. Some. Oop, oop. Alright, I guess we better head inside the pub then. Oh, I wanted to check over here. That's right. General strike, factory closed. Hmm. What does that remind me of? There we go. But where are you off to, Holmes? Um, over the bridge and through the woods. Oh, we can go this way. <laughs> um, okay. But where are you off to, Holmes? Watson, don't question my methods. There is a madness to them. 
But where are you off to? Damn it, home? Watson! If you keep stopping me, I'm gonna beat you over the head, I swear. I have a knife. I'll shank you. Okay, pub. Let's go in the pub. He's got a cricket bat. Don't ask me how I know that. Good day to you, sir. Could you serve up two of your best pints and some information, if you please? The raid in Spain pleasure, stays sir. mainly what in the plain. Is that good information? My friend and I are looking for a man who works one of the fishing boats at the docks. The name of the ship escapes me, but I do know for certain fact it has a coal-fed boiler. In truth, there are dozens of such boats that <laughs> lay anchor here every day. What can you tell me about the look of him? Only that he is a robust man about this size, wearing iron soles. Iron soles? You've just described half of my customers. I have nothing for you. Here now, look for a man called Harper. He lives in a house not far from here. Wasn't that something? After the bridge near the warehouses. You can't go wrong finding his place. It has a large anchor painted on it. <laughs> Alright. Either way, I am in your debt. Please tell me, for curiosity's sake, what troubles your friend? Zadok? He's been waiting ever so long for a new wooden hand. It was to be here yesterday, but still no sign of it. He is quite low and has taken to the drink. It is Zadok. Oh, devil! Last night a nasty flea woke me, and me with only the hook on me scratching hand. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> and add to me worries. Imagine last summer I had worms. Oh! Worms. Yes, Grams is what it was. A sudden attack in the middle of the night. Again with only the one hand and a blasted hook on the other. Hit me misery. I used the wrong hand. Oh, 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 oh God. <laughs> oh. oh, man. Right, gentlemen, again, thank you. Have a nice day. Oh man, Zadok is falling on hard times. Ouch, Grandmaster Zadok lost his hand in the Great Deep One attack over at uh, Massachusetts. Ended up at a place with a hook and then he got worms. I'm sorry, gentlemen. This is private property. There's no entry here. Uh, who said that? Sounds like the bookkeeper. Okay, um. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Move. Poor Grandmaster Zadok. Oh well. Come on, stairs. Upstairs. Upstairs. Damn it. I can't jump, so I can't get around there. Oh, fine. Can I take the ladder this time? No. Oh, let's head out the door. It's good to know we got Zadok back again. I feel better. Having Grandmaster, Grandmaster Zadok back again. After he's, apparently he, is, he uh, did his time with the Blue Jedi Spirit thing and became a... Uh, Sentient human again. It's always good to have Grandmaster Zadok around. Freshish. That was supposed to be the East India Trading. Oh no! Oh no! They do tea, right? That's right. Hmm. I wonder if this is the place. Customs. Very odd customs here. Good. Yeah, I really don't. <laughs> the guy was certainly right when he said we can't miss it. I just I don't like going in places immediately though. I like to hunt around a little bit. Hey, look at this. Registers 1994, September 7th. I can't pick that up yet. I say yet because I know I'm gonna need it. It's a book. Another boat. Watson. Ugh, I thought I'd lost you. Dang it, Watson. I know, I know I should go in the house, but I really like to explore first. You know, just in case we get attap attacked by deep ones and we need to run somewhere, I'd like to know where all the, you know, passageways are and where we go and stuff, where the dead end. See right here, I would have run in here and then I would have died because I can't jump on that and jump over. I would really like to have a jump button. You know, space bar, don't do anything. In the uh, original version of this game, I'm playing the remastered edition, but in the original version of this game, you could crouch by pressing the control button. In this game, control just switches your perspective. 
And I really don't know why you'd play in third person. I mean, it's so much easier to play first person, I think. Don't you? Okay. This is really starting to remind me a lot of, uh, uh, Innsmouth again. Even though we're on the complete other side of the ocean, but... It really reminds me a lot of Innsmouth. I, I mean, the dark corridors. It, it's got a very Cthulhu-y feel again. That makes me... I don't really want to say happy, but it more easily enjoyed. It's not a good word. Darkness everywhere. Excuse me. Darkness everywhere, coming closer and. Good grief, this place is built like a maze! Good look if I can find myself my way back to the anchor house now. Maybe I shouldn't have gone exploring just yet.